Welcome to Culinary 101. My name is Franz and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, we are going to discuss about utilize kitchen tools and equipment. Any cook should be familiar with the correct utensils, devices, and equipment in the kitchen. It is important to consider several things and not only the price when buying them. The job of cooking requires specific tools, utensils, and equipment for proper and efficient preparation of food. Each piece has been designed to accomplish a specific job in the kitchen. The tools, utensils, and equipments are made of different materials, each having certain advantage and disadvantages. On this video or in this blog, we are going to discuss about the different materials, utensils, and equipment commonly found in the kitchen. Aluminum is the best for all around use. It is the most popular, lightweight, and attractive. It is also less expensive. It requires care to keep it shiny and clean. Much more, it gives even, equal distribution of heat, no matter what heat temperature you have. It is available in sheet or cast aluminum. Since it's a soft type of metal, the lighter gauges will dent and scratch easily, making the utensil unusable. Aluminum turns dark when used with alkalis, such as potatoes, beets, carrots, and other vegetables. Acid vegetables like tomatoes will brighten aluminum uh, pots and other cooking materials made up of aluminum. Now let's proceed to those glass uh, material or glass type of cooking tools and equipments that we have. Uh, glass is good for baking. In fact, most of my vlogs or videos, I'm using um, made up of glass uh, cooking pans. Uh, but it's not practical on top or surface cooking. Uh, hindi, I do not also advise na when you say top, uh, when you use this one on the top of the stoves. But I really advise you this to make use for baking. Why? Because nakikita nyo yung, yung moist pa sa loob kung kailangan na, na ba siyang i-take out, uh, ilabas sa stove, kung luto na ba siya. So it's easily be identified through the glass or the see-through glass characteristic of it. But it requires or it needs to make sure for, it needs and it requires extra care for a longer life or a longer self-life. Madali itong mabasag at the same time, madali itong ma-scratch. Another uh, material or tools and equipments we have inside of the kitchens are those that are made up of cast iron. Um, what are the, those cast iron materials? Uh, it is a sturdy but must be kept seasoned to avoid rust. The um, cast iron pan is my best example. In fact, this is my best friend. This cast iron is my best friend when I'm cooking steak. This is really good when you're cooking steak. Well, the problem is, um, I was saying a while ago, madali siyang magkaroon ng kalawang. That's the characteristic of cast iron. So you need to avoid that one. Uh, what, we, what do we do to maintain our cast iron? To be honest with you, cast iron are expensive when you buy them. We polished it with oil after washing, um, after cleaning it, after cooking, we wash it. Of course, uh, palamagin mo muna. You have to cool it down before you clean it. So you, you, after cleaning it, after washing it, do not use, by the way, do not use detergent soap or yung sabon pang laba. Use the liquid soap or the dishwashing soap. Uh, what we do is uh, we now wipe off uh, the tissue to make it dry and then we polish it with oil before we store it back to the cabinet or bago siya itago. Why? To make sure na walang kalawang nakakapit sa kanya habang nakatago siya. There's another way also that we do. Oh, sometimes we don't use oil. Instead, we powderize the entire body. Nilalagyan namin ng baking soda or sorting or flour uh, para hindi kumapit yung kalawang. Ceramic and heat-proof glass 
uh, used especially for baking. It's the same characteristic with what I mentioned a while ago, the glass thing. So we have also, not only for baking, but we have also casseroles and measuring cups and uh, made up of glass and ceramics. Uh, glass and ceramic measuring cups are for liquid when you are measuring liquid items for baking or for cooking. Glass and ceramic conduct heat slowly and evenly. Yung pantay and it, the, the art of slow cooking para nanonood yung sanap. So it's good for you to make use of ceramic. Many of these baking dishes are decorated and can go from stove or oven to the dining table. Ito yung maganda kasi uh, right from the oven, pagkatapos mo mag-bake, pwede, dahil it's beautiful, because it's beautiful already, you can directly serve it without transferring your food item, your cooked item, into another container. So, mas, mas makakatipid ka. And sometimes, we make use of this as, a, as the serving serving bowl for the vayan or for the, for the ulam. So, that's the positive side of ceramic and heat-proof glass. But of course, it needs extra care and extra maintenance to, to have it um, long last uh, para mas magtagal siya, madali din siyang mabasag. We're now down to Teflon. Teflon is a special coating applied to the inside portion of some aluminum or steel pots and cooking pans. It helps food from sticking to the pan. Siguro familiar kayo sa non-stick. Uh, less oil na mga characteristic na mga cooking pots and pan. Um, I have here an example of Teflon in which uh, I just used the smaller one pero may mga malalaki kaming sizes dito. But I, the very handy that I can show to you is this uh, pan made up of tef Teflon. So, may, mayroon siyang coating sa inside. In fact, kahit sa labas meron siya, even yung kanyang coating. Kung saan, when you, when you fry, uh, when you cook something, kung magigisa ka ng, ng bawang at saka sibuyas, it requires a very little oil kasi hindi dumidikit yung anong lulutuin mo. And it is easier to wash and clean. However, take care na, na, not to scratch, na hindi magasgas yung teflon coating dito sa harap. Because the teflon coating, once it's hit by the sharp instruments such as knife and fork, mapipil off siya, natatanggal siya, magagasgas siya, mawawala na yung kanyang pagkateflon. So, what we do and what I would like to advise to you all is to use wooden or plastic spatula to turn or mix food when you're cooking. Kasi yun ang ginagawa namin, yung ginagamit namin. It's either the bamboo-made or wood-made na ladle or, or pang-ukay or di kaya is yung yung silicon na ginagamit namin for cooking because you need to protect it for a longer lifespan and another is mahal kasi to eh compared to the basic cooking pots the teflon one the teflon coated pots ay mas mahal and because of this special um, material na ginamit para hindi didikit agad yung niluluto natin another is the plastic and hard rubbers they are used for cutting and, and chopping boards. Yes, do we have uh, most of the common chopping boards that we have are the plastic one. Table tops, bowls, even trays that are made up of plastics, garbage and pail canister. Yes, our garbage bin, this, this uh, is, com is a combina combination of plastic and a hard rubber. Um, because it, it expands. Kung wala siyang laman, ikikip na siyang ganito. Kung lalagyan mo na, it can be expanded as well. May basura kasi. <laughs> For a while. There you go. And uh, the good thing about this trash bin is we just hung this on the door of the cabinets uh, near our washing area. The, what's the good thing about the plastic and hard rubbers? They are much less dulling to knives at than the metal and more sanitary than the wood plastics are greatly durable and must mura they are cheap but also another concern they may they might not last long and the common uh, cases that we have inside of the kitchen 
kadalasan ay na natutunaw yung mga plastic natin, lalo na kung na papalapit sila or nalalagay natin sila malap malapit sa stoves. And then we have the baster. It is very handy for returning some of the meat or poultry juices from the pan. Kung nagluluto tayo, di ba nag-drip yung, yung mga juice nila and we want it to be polished back to the food. So we do the basting brushes. Uh, the basting brushes can be used for several purposes but they are also convenient for buttering the tops of the bread most especially in baking and bake yes sanabi ko nga and bake goods after they came up they came out from the oven and you need to you have you want your bread to to be polished to be shiny and we use the the, the baster uh, for basting and can only also be can this this can also be used not only for baking but as well as on uh, dishes that we cook over uh, our stove that we need to put back the sauce back to the main uh, meat or chicken that we are we are cooking over the stove next on the list are the cans bottles carton opener so i have here on my hand is the the a can opener 14 cans milk uh, and other canned goods that we have so this is used to open food tin, lata, preferably with smooth operation and comfortable in hand grip and turning the knobs. This one, while this one comes with dual purposes because it can has also the the, the bottle opener opener on this on this part. And this yeah this is can be considered as scissors as well but this is a different one because this is specialized for the kitchen and this is what I'm using when I'm opening boxes, uh, such as the, the, the milk box and all-purpose cream boxes. Another important um, material we need to have in the kitchen are the colanders, also called as uh, vegetable strainer salaan. So I have here uh, made up of plastic with its body uh, and made up of uh, aluminum. These are essential for various tasks from cleaning vegetables or straining pasta or tin contents. If you remember, pag nagluluto tayo ng pasta, kailangan natin i-drain yung water and separate from the pasta. So it helps for an easier um, separation of water and pasta. So we use the colanders. And also when we wash the vegetables, and we don't want to have an excess water on, on, on the vegetables, so we need to make use of colanders. Tin contents. Naalala nyo pag Pasko, you have to separate yung juice ng fruit cocktail. Eh, yung juice ng kaong and nata di coco. So we make use of the colanders. And these are also other helpful materials that we, we need in the kitchen. Another common material that we have uh, for the kitchen are the cutting boards. Uh, there are wooden cutting boards. They are made of plastic cutting boards where meats and vegetables can be cut. I, I will be creating a separate vlog or video with regards to the different types of cutting boards with their usage and the different colors of cutting boards according to the type of uses. Another is the dredger. So what's the use of the dredger? The dredger is used to shake flour, salt, and pepper on the meat, poultry, or fish. Take a look on the screen for the picture sample of the dredger. The double broiler. Please take a look on the screen for the picture of the double broiler. It is used when temperature must be kept below the boiling, such as for egg, uh, egg sauce, pud uh, puddings, and to keep food warm without uh, overcooking them. So we need to make use of double broiler. Another item on the list is the emery board or the sh sharpening steel. What, I'm, what, what I have here is the emery board. This is used to sharpen knives. What I have here are flippers. These are used in turning hamburgers and other food items. Another is a funnel. Please take a look on the screen for the sample of funnels. Funnels are used to fill jars made up of various sizes of stainless steel, aluminum, or sometimes it's made up of plastic. And another item we have, very helpful in the kitchen, uh, is the 
garlic presser. It's a kitchen tool which is specifically designed in the purpose of pulping garlic for cooking. Para dili na mo maglisod o ginagmay og hiwa sa inyong garlic. And another is grater. Uh, the example of the grater that I have is the big one that comes with a body or a container. But yung kadalasan makikita ninyo na grater is the plastic one in a rectangular form. So graters are used to grate, shred, or slice and separate foods such as carrots, cabbage, and cheese. And on the screen is the handy poultry and roasting tools. It, uh, it makes easier to lift a hot roasted turkey from roaster to the serving platter without falling apart. The kitchen knives. The kitchen knives, we will be creating a separate blogs on the kitchen knives because um, I will be discussing about the parts of the kitchen knife different types of the kitchen knife according to their usage. What I, what I have on my hand is a chef knife. It's an 8 inch chef knife. Often referred to the best friend of the chef. Knives are a, a must for all types of kitchen tasks. From peeling down to slicing and carving, knife is very important. Kitchen shears. These are practical for opening food packages, cutting tape or string to package food or simply to remove tags or labels from food items. Other cutting tools such as box cutters are just ha as handy as the cutting shears, especially uh, for opening packages. Another item on the list are the measuring spoons and measuring cups. Measuring tools are among of the most important items found and a must that we have in our kitchen. Consistently good cooking depends on accurate measurements. And take note, this is actually helpful most especially when we do baking. Measuring tools should be standardized. That's why you need to follow uh, making use of measuring spoon and Measuring cups, hindi yung tancha-tancha lang, sa bisaya, matamata lang. Measuring cups and spoons are also uh, used in uh, measuring both liquid and the powderized and cream uh, ingredients. While the scales, uh, timbangan, are used to weigh materials in a bigger volume. Uh, there are bigger weighing scales and at the same time available on the market are the digital weighing scales. These are delicate and precision instruments that must be handled carefully and are more dependable in terms of accuracy. Sinabi ko nga kanina na iba pa rin yung uh, sinusukat talaga ng standardized na mga measuring scops and measuring cup and spoons and at the same time weighing scales both the traditional weighing scale or the modern digital weighing scales kaysa naman yung tancha tancha lang or sabi saya nga mata mata lang commonly used measuring tools in in our home or in commercial kitchens include the following please take a look on the screen I have here the pasta spoon or the server, pasta spoon or server. This is used to transfer a little amount or a large amount of much cooked pasta to a waiting plate, most especially when we are preparing a pasta to a serving plate without or minimal mess. Pasta spoons are best used with spaghetti style along, along, along with other long pasta noodles. You can use a large slotted, may mas malaki laki pa nito, serving spoon for um, short, short pasta. Next is the potato masher. This is used for mashing cooked potatoes, turnips, carrots, or other soft cooked vegetable. And on the screen, the photo of the rotary egg beater used for 
beating small amount of eggs or butter. The beaters should be made up of stainless steel and gear driven for ease in rotating. But the most common problem is that when you are you, when you don't use this most often time, like we build up yung kanyang rust on the rotating part. So I would advise for you to regularly uh, drop a small amount of oil on the rotating part for the rust not to build up. Scraper made up of rubber or silicon uh, used to blend or scrape the food from a bowl. Metal or silicon or plastic plastic head turners or flippers. Um, most commonly, you can see this being used in, in baking and pastry. Another is the seafood serving tools. Please take a look on the photo flashing on your screen. And this makes the task of cleaning seafood and removing the shell much easier. For cooking seafood, utensils will vary depending on what you are cooking. Another is the serving spoon. Uh, there are several variety of serving spoons. This is a utensil consisting of small, shallow bowl on a handle used pre in preparing, serving, uh, and uh, for eating of, of the food. Another is the serving tongs. So I have two types of serving tongs on my hands. This enables uh, you to more easily grab and transfer large food items, poultry or meat portions to a serving platter, to a hot uh, skillet or deep fryer or to a plate. It gives you a better grip or hold and the longer the tongue, the better especially when used in deep frying. A large stock pot or at the barbecue. So I have here a silicon uh, handle with a silicon end serving tongue while I have here the purely stainless uh, silicon tongue. Uh, this is the shorter one and this is the, the taller or the longer one. Soup ladle. I have here different types of soup ladle. This is used in serving food, uh, specifically soup or stew, but can also be used for gravy dessert sauces or other foods a soup ladle also work well to remove or skim off fat from soup and stews yung tinatanggal mo yung uh, umiiba nagpap, uh, pumupunta sa ibabaw or nagsasurface na taba lalo na kung uh, papuntang lumalamig na yung soup and um, the common uh, soup ladle that I can see now on the market are those with the silicon, silicon head and wooden handle. There are also soup ladle that are uh, made up of stainless the, the, from the head down to the handle and there are soup ladle that are made up of bamboo or wood as well. Another item on the list are the spoon. Um, these are made up of solid, slotted or perforated made up of stainless steel but there are other spoons that are made up of plastic and wood the solid ones are used to spoon liquids uh, over food and to lift food including the liquid out of the pot and of course used to the, uh, in, in, the, in, in setting up the table for dining used for uh, eating Next, you see on the screen is the picture of a temperature scale uh, used to measure heat int intensity. Different uh, thermometer are used from different purposes in food preparation. For meat, uh, candy, or deep fat frying, other small thermometer are ha hanged, uh, most especially the one for baking or stand oven or refrig uh, refrigerators to check the accuracy of the equipment thermostat. Um, kadalasan yung sa oven is yung nasa pintuan mismo, taas ng pintuan, kasi yung pag ng init as you bake, so magbibigay siya sa'yo ng, ng accurate na, na gauge ng temperature. While um, for the refrigerator, the modern refrigerator, you can see the thermometer or the thermostat on, on the door. There are digital. Uh, for you to gauge whether you need to defrost, you need to have uh, a freezing cold to 
down to less than zero degrees so you can adjust that one on on the door itself other also available uh, temperature scales or even in water dispensers and uh, electric kettle focus your attention on the screen uh, flashing on the screen is a two-time fork used to hold meat while slicing and turn to solid pieces of meat while uh, browning or cooking this is usually made up of stainless steel and with heat proof handle another is the vegetable peeler i know you're familiar with this this is used to scrape vegetable such as carrots and potatoes and to peel fruits as well the best ones are made up of stainless with sharp double blade just what i'm just what i am showing to you right now blade that swivels yung magagalaw siya so that it can adjust depending on uh, the shape of what you're peeling while this one it's made up of a silicon handle another is the whisk for blending or mixing there are different types of whisk depending on the usage with the different sizes as well this is used for whipping eggs or butter for blending gravies, sauces, and soups. The bitter are made of looped steel. Uh, yung nakikita nyo kadalasan is steel, but what I'm holding is uh, made up of silicon, which are twisted together to form a handle. So, dito, it's, uh, since it's silicon, so these are intentionally created to look like this. So when you clean also this whisk, uh, the best way you can clean this is to flatten this out like this so that you can easily remove anything that sticks on the portion. Kasi pag in, gininito mo siya at hinugasan mo na ganyan, yung, yung iba is pumapasok sa mga sulok-sulok. So the best way you can do it is to do it this way. While for this, hindi ko siya magaganon kasi it's a fixed, it's a fixed whisk. Uh, balloon wooden spoon it, it still continues to be a kitchen essential though uh, ginamit ito ng mga kanununuan natin nung hindi pa na invento yung mga silicon yung mga steel so there were uh, the history of cooking uh, traditionally yung ginagamit nila were wooden spoon uh, it still is an essential because of their usefulness for used in creaming stirring and mixing most especially this time na we are making use of teflon na mga surface na mga cooking pots they used to be made of hardwood and others are made up of bamboo just like yung sample na sinoshow ko ngayon now we'll proceed to the equipments so these are the more complicated tools we call them equipments they may refer to a small electric appliance such as the mixer or a large, expensive, power-operated appliances such as gas ranges or a refrigerator. Equipment like range, ovens, refrigerators are mandatory pieces in the kitchen or in any other food establishment. The first on the list of our um, equipment is the refrigerator or freezer. They are very necessary in preventing bacterial infections from food. Most refrigerators have special compartment for meat, fruits, and vegetables to keep the moisture content of each type of food. Butter compartment holds butter separately to prevent food odors from spoiling its flavor. Basically, a refrigerator or freezer is an insulated box equipped with refrigeration, refriger, sorry, refrigeration unit and control to maintain the proper uh, temperature inside for food storage. So what uh, I have here is a refrigerator on the top and a free freezer below. And um, it is the modern type of the refrigerator where you have the control of the temperature. You can have it freezing. Uh, you can um, have 
the temperature on its maximum or you can lower it down and um, I won't just open the, the what's inside of the refrigerator because we'll be having a different a different video uh, with regards to how we properly arrange things inside of our freezer or refrigerator microwave ovens they have greatly increased their use in the food industry food can be prepared ahead of time a food can be pre uh, pre cooked or be heated again uh, fast and quick with the use of microwave oven like this next equipment we have is the blender the blender is used to chop blend mix whip or even create puree grate and liquefy all kinds of foods a blender is a very useful appliance in our kitchen they vary in the amount of power voltage or wattage depending on the size of course others vary and do not do the same job as well so that's culinary 101 with the title utilize kitchen tools and equipment specifically on materials of kitchen utensils and equipment commonly found in our kitchen for the next vlog culinary 101 part 2 of this video is the topic maintain kitchen tools and equipment and the working area thank you so much enjoy learning <laughs>